Hello, this is one of my latest books. It's called Barking for Bagels and it's published by Anderson Press and written by a dog called Schnip with wonderful pictures by Tony Ross. I'll read the beginning of it to you. My name is Schnip. I'm a dog. And this is my story, a dog's story, Schnip's story. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. By the way, this is my tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth. I used to be looked after by Julie and Lara and their mum, Sadie. Am I still looked after by Julie and Lara and Sadie? Aha, I may be. I may not be. You won't know if I am, or I am not, still being looked after by Julie and Lara and Sadie, till you get to the end of the story. If this was a film, you'd now hear da 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 music. But it's not a film, it's a book, so there's no music. Julie and Lara and Sadie took me to the park, the memorial park. We were playing the throw, fetch, leave game with a ball. Cooey, schnip, they called. It was great. I was doing some great running, really fast. A couple of times I actually caught the ball in midair. You know, when the ball comes flying through the air, I caught it in my mouth before it dropped. Skills. Cooey, schnip, they called. Anyway, just as I was thinking how good I am, Another thought popped into my head. I thought, hey, <laughs> what if I went for a big run? You know, just run off. And if I did happen to run off, I would never ever have to hear Julie and Lara snickering ever again. Hmm, snickering. What is snickering? Snickering is the noise that Julie and Lara make when they laugh. It sounds a bit like they were sneezing backwards over and over again. Look, don't get me wrong here. I loved Julie and Lara. I loved them very, 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 very much. I loved running round and round the backyard with them. I loved the way they called out, cooey, schnip. But I didn't like the snickering. Anyway, I was thinking all this and I just started running, running away from Julie and Lara and Sadie. I just went for it. Vroosh. You might like to make that noise. Vroosh. Well, I kept on running, kept on running, kept on running until I got to some woods. That felt great. I ran through some bushes and the bushes brushed up against me and it felt like someone was brushing my coat. Just then, I noticed a fox. You never know when you might meet a fox when you're out and about. And I was most certainly, absolutely and totally out and about. Now, I've got nothing against foxes. I really haven't. Foxes do their thing, I do mine. Here are my thoughts about foxes. Foxes really like rubbish. You know, when people leave out bags of rubbish in the street, they love that. They spend hours and hours going through it. I once saw a fox eating eggshells. What? Eggshells? What is the matter with them? Another one I saw eating a newspaper. I'm not joking. Eating a newspaper. Do you eat newspapers? I don't think so. Neither do I. I don't mean to sound like a snob. I don't mean to look down my nose at them. Okay, yes, I do have a big nose, but that's what dogs have. Hmm? Anyway, foxes eat rubbish. That's the way they are. I don't. Though I have to admit, they are very funny. They're very good at jokes, especially knock-knock jokes. So the fox came up to me and told me a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Cat. Cat who? No, I'm not a cat, I'm a dog. I think that's really, really funny. Don't, or perhaps you don't, anyway. I said, hey, that's really funny. And he said, glad you like it, Schnip. Stay lucky. I said, but how do you know my name? But he was off and away, no answer. That's what foxes are like. And that's the end of my thoughts about foxes. Anyway, I came out of the wood and thought that maybe I should go home now. But to tell the truth, I didn't know 
where I was.